This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well then, cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, Memory Heart. Oh. Is it bad luck to cheers before you open your drink? <laughs> Ooh, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to say I hope not. I hope not. I haven't heard anything about that, but that is true. I've done that several times. Mm. And like we're mysterious. Oh, mysterious. We're superstitious <laughs> well, yeah. about like eye contact and like don't cheers with water, even though I've done that I all know. the time. Yeah. It does. I mean, I've done it and then afterwards been like, oh. Well, there's no going back now. Well, is the cheers eye contact thing, is that the seven years bad sex or just overall bad luck? I don't know. Is that bad sex? I feel like people use that for everything. Isn't that, what's the, if you break a mirror? That's seven years bad luck. Bad luck. But okay. there's other things that people are like, oh, that's seven years of bad sex. And I'm like, if I was having <laughs> bad sex for, se- first of all, <laughs> kudos for even getting sex. Right. But if I was having bad sex for that long and could trace it back to when I cheers with water once. <laughs> but also, I feel like the person that started that superstition was someone that was just bad at sex. Yeah. So they were like, it's because you cheers, <laughs> not because of my performance. <laughs> <laughs> this is water. Fuck. I yeah. guess I'm having Ugh. bad sex again with you. Tonight is uh, this water's fault. The worst. Uh, y'all, if you are watching Woo-hoo! our podcast instead of just listening to it. Which you, you can on our YouTube channel. You absolutely can. YouTube got, what is it? YouTube.com slash this might get. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, no. Every time I say the name of our podcast, sometimes I'm saying that. I go in my head about saying this might get, get weird or that might get weird. I know. We don't know our own podcast. It's yeah. already weird. But we have gotten two new brand. Spanking new pieces of merch. They Woo-hoo! are retro 70s style ringer tees. Yeah. Cute I was, as heck. Here's the deal. Is we got our samples in like mm-hmm. a week or two ago because, you know, we needed to get some production going, make sure they were okay. Yep. I've been wearing the shit out of these. Same. And like con- like having to consciously not Instagram story. Same. They are so comfortable. And you made this um, clear distinction on your Instagram about how long in the torso they yes. are, which is... I am obsessed as someone that has a short torso. I'm constantly looking for T-shirts that are have longer length. And these two guys, they're great. Wait, if your torso is short. Yeah. I like. Why do you need a longer length? I like when it like I just like long, lean like T-shirts, which is why I used to buy like men's T-shirts at H&M. There's something that I feel like it evens out the proportions of my. OK, my, there's not like it's not trying to like cut in and no, give you a waist. No, because like, you know how crop tops are so popular. I feel like I look like just a head on legs. If I wear one of those, <laughs> and there's no, it's already my legs are like three fourths of my body. So if I do that, oh it's God. just really making sure people see. You look like one of those. M- head massager things yeah exactly that's just spider legs <laughs> exactly um no i'm sorry to to keep going on this but it's true most 70s style like little ringer tees mm-hmm. they always cut at the waist yeah and then i like i i think i have a normal size torso i have long legs yeah but i don't like the little sliver of belly showing no i don't either so i'm constantly like pulling it down and then it stretches out the shirt it changes it warps the shape of it so yes. this is I'm obsessed. I love these. I love it. How are you? You just got back Good. from like a really fast trip home. Yes. I went home over the weekend really quick um, and came back. But also, before we forget to mention up top. Oh, my God. We're going on tour. We're going on tour. <laughs> <laughs> two things to mention. Two things. One is two new tees. Second, we're going on tour. Tickets are on sale now. Uh, you can go to thismightgetweird.com and get tour tickets or you can look it up and buy them wherever the venues are selling them online i think we have like four five six seven eight nine ten eleven dates announced Mm -hmm. we are trying to grab some more but in the meantime some of them are selling like hotcakes our first ones in um portland and seattle those are going pretty fast so if you're thinking of coming get the tickets yeah it's gonna be fun as always we don't know what it's going to be. We don't know what it's going to be. If you haven't seen us live specifically for the podcast, we do usually like 30 to 45 minutes of like stand up type of things. And yeah. then we record for the last 30. So, yeah. In case you were like, I'm not paying just to hear them talk that no. I can hear later. It will be a additional. show. It'll be mm-hmm. like a fully formed, rehearsed show. You know how I know it's going to be a show? Yeah. Because I've already had anxiety dreams about I it. Didn't have you really? <laughs> I already had a dream where oh, I was no. like, we got nothing planned <laughs> and we're going on stage in 10 minutes. <laughs> Which, you know, could be an indicator of what actually happens. But That's I think true. we uh, also it's we haven't been on 
stage in two years. So it's the longest. It's going to be quite a moment. Quite a moment. And also, y'all, I leave. Uh, by the time you're hearing this, yeah. it will be tomorrow. Uh, I leave for North Carolina. So Grace and I are going to be living our adventures and truly mm-hmm. meeting up in these cities with yeah. things to talk about. Yeah, it should it's be very be fun. wild. It's going to be wild. So, but speaking of that, speaking of leaving the the town yeah. and then subletting my place. I went through my closet today. Yeah. I'm getting rid. Okay. I don't have a big closet. Right. It's like an accordion door, shallow little thing. Mm-hmm. Like as, as an adult, I've never had a walk-in closet. Right. And I meant at my whole life. Yeah. I didn't have one as a kid either. <laughs> I don't know why I said as an adult. I didn't have like a luxurious walk-in closet as a kid. I've never had a walk-in closet. I'm always, it's always like full. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, this is just what it is. Yep. I'm, I'm never, you know, I can see all the Erica Jane clips and all the housewives where they have like places for shoes. Mine is shoved in there and feeling like at any point it could avalanche. Sure. Yeah. All that to say, I'm getting rid of seven garbage bags full of clothes. <gasps> wow. Which there were a few in there, uh-huh. a few numbers in there where I was like, I really love this. And it wasn't cheap. But let's be real. I haven't worn it in three years. Yeah. 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 And if I have an event or something coming up, I'm going to want something new. Right. Yeah. So uh, there were things in there that were like tough to let go of. But for the most part, like, why did I have that much shit in a closet that I'm so easy to get rid of. I know. That's like right now I look at my closet. I, one, I'm going to be wearing that's one of these wear. two shirts every day that's all you're gonna wear. for the next six months. That's all I should pack for and North so, Carolina. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That I, I look at my stuff and I'm like, the last year I've worn, we've talked about this before, mm-hmm. like 10% of what's in there. And so why am I holding on to it? Yes. There's just that idea that like something might come up last minute and I'm going to want one of these options that I never want every day until that moment. <laughs> exactly. But was the inconvenience of having a a closet so fucking full it yeah. was embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Worth having backup options. No. Have it feels you, cathartic. Did you find anything surprising other than two vibrators? <laughs> Two vibrators <laughs> wow. I wasn't even aware of. Wow. Um, let's see. What else did I find? This crazy pair of earrings. I found um, a grumpy cat stuffed animal. Great. Uh, what else did I find? No, I mean, for it's the like most. It's a time capsule. <laughs> it truly is. For the most, it's like what I've been ignoring and shoving further and further back there. Yeah. For, now I've lived in this place like five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I feel. Whew. Light as a feather. Yes. Yeah, stiff as a board. Stiff. Rock hard. <laughs> Rock hard, baby. I'm bringing over. Um, I'm going to pick up beans after this because she had a sleepover with Mary. Oh, cute. Because I had to break it to Mary last week that me and <gasps> beans are going to the East Coast. Yeah. How did you do that? How'd that go? Over text. Like I break up <laughs> with anyone. Um, and so I told her. So I was like, I was like, but you guys can have like a sleepover even though I'll be in town. Yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go pick up beans, cute. but I picked out all the cute pink items that I'm getting rid of <laughs> yeah. because Mary looks great in pink. Oh, that's to great. See if she wants it. Oh, of that's them. so lovely. You know, yeah. you, it is what you it gotta is. You got to curb the bad news with some pink items. <laughs> some pink item. I mean, if there isn't a truer statement, I, I got a pink item for you. That all. Okay, sorry. Oh. We went on a tangent. So how was flying? How was everything? Um, it was good. It was a really quick trip. I uh, went back just to see family for a quick second. Not too much going on. I will say, so I took a, I took a red eye on Thursday night. And um, so I already haven't done a red eye in I don't know how long. Yeah. And so, you know, I took an edible before I went to the, Ooh. which is lovely. Have Lo- you done that solo? Um, Not that. No, because I haven't really flown solo lately. Right. But I took a very low dose, little like low mint. That's only like two milligrams or whatever. So okay. it just like curbs the solo anxiety. Okay. And I was going through I had TSA pre. I also have clear now, but I was like, let me just see if TSA pre empty, completely mm. empty. So, so empty. And uh, the edible starts like kicking. I feel lovely, and TSA pre is empty, so I'm like, great. I don't have to like. I can just talk to anyone through. And this girl in front of me, who's probably like our age, has a bunch of bags and is like flustered and is talking. You hate to see it. Hate to see it, but I'm. She's flustered. I'm like, this can't be that big of a deal. This this is so empty here. Yeah. And she tries to go through, and the guy's like, you have clear. 
you can't come through this line. And she was like, there's no agents at the clear desk. And he was like, just over. He's like, I don't know what to do for you. You have clear. You can't come through this line. You have to go find the agents. <laughs> and mm-hmm. so she like walks away, like huffing and puffing. And I'm like, oh, no. OK, this guy is like, you he know, means biz, serious business. And I get up there and I give him my ID and he just starts laughing at it. What? And, <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, this is not the time to have oh. fucked up in some capacity. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, Sh- you show your face, you know, through your mask, whatever. And I was like, oh, God, please just let me go through. And he hands my ID back to me, still laughing. I was like, thank you. And he goes, I used to watch your YouTube show. Oh! And I was like, oh, you don't look like the demo. And also, I am not prepared to do any interaction. But, oh. oh, thanks, man. Thank God. I know. I was like, ah, this, he's going to be like, your flight's not till t- next week <laughs> or something. Have else. you ever done that? Because I've missed it by a month. Really? Have you gone to the airport and they've told you Yes. It was like a party weekend in North Carolina forever ago. And it was also a thing where I made a friend take me to the airport because this was pre-Uber. Yeah. Oh. And like fully drive like an hour and a half. Oh, God. Because we're in the country. Yeah. Fully get there. And then I look at my ticket. I hand my ticket and they were like, this is for February. (laughs) It's January. (laughs) And I mean, I couldn't even, I think like I didn't even admit it to the time when my friend, I was like, I was like, I'll take a taxi to a hotel and stay the night and like figure out. Yeah. This is before you could like rebook on your phone. Yeah. I didn't want to deal with it. And I was just, I was so, so so embarrassing. So embarrassed. I know that's, I mean, but those, the, I mean, you know, I've fallen asleep at my gate and have tried to get on a flight and they're like, your plane left an hour ago. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, those were the days. And so those are the moments that still make me feel like the biggest uh, winner when I actually do get on a flight totally fine without any yes. complications. The thing is, is we've done it so badly, though, yeah. that like that, that I'm trauma's in our body. So. I'm constantly waiting to be told what yeah. I've done wrong. Uh, and yeah, yes. it was totally fine. I will say the only overheard thing that I wrote Ooh, down we love it. was... Um, waiting for that red eye uh you know the airport's wild at like 10 30 11 o'clock at night at it LAX. Is, and also are the bars still open there all open really all open i, I feel gotta, like you can get a drink at 6 a.m but you can't get one at 11 and now you, it was packed and you now wow. you can get a drink at the bar and go sit wherever you want like i love it it's wonderful and uh I was waiting to get on the plane finally. And this woman who was like, I don't know, maybe in her 60s. And she looked like she was about to go yachting. She had like boat shoes on and just all pastels. And Favorite. was like perfectly put together for this red eye flight. And she was just talking on her phone, like laughing and whatever for a long time. And then as I got up closer to her, I just heard her say on her phone, well, I'm worried about her head injury. Duh. <laughs> I love that. That was it. I what <laughs> happened on the boat earlier that day? I don't know. And I was like, "Where are you going, ma'am? I would like to hear the rest of this conversation." Uh, yeah. So I like that lady. It was great, but it was a quick trip, and uh, I'm tired though. You know, yeah. but I didn't get a chance to adjust to three hours before. Yeah. I'm three hours back now. Uh, I'm here now, so I, I think we're recording on the I right day. I think we're recording on the yeah. podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by Noom. If you are looking to modify some of the habits uh, in your life and alter them towards health, try Noom. Noom uses a psychology-based approach to find a healthier balance that's moldable to your life and as a result, more sustainable. So with Noom, they take a cognitive behavioral approach. It helps you unlearn bad habits and learn to understand your relationship with the decisions you make as it pertains to your healthy lifestyle. And they know that one size does not fit all. You can choose your goals and Noom will personalize a program for you. 80% of Noom users finish the program and over 60% have stuck with their goals for at least a year. And if you're not into programs, the one thing I will tell you about this app is that they have an incredible recipe library. I'm talking about anything you can think of and you can search based on criteria that is appropriate to you, whether you want 
want to look for the percentage of greens in a meal, which is something I know I need to look for. Or you can put it within your budget and everyone is super collaborative on there. So you can talk to each other, get recipes from each other. There's just an extensive and easy approachable library for you. And with Noom, all you need is a daily 10 minute check-in. There's no grueling early mornings or huge chunks taken out of your day. And if you need to take a day off, you can take a day off. They will help you get back on track. So if you are interested in building some better habits for a healthier, long-term lifestyle change result situation, sign up for your trial at noom.com slash weird. That's noom, N-O-O-M dot com slash weird. CBD isn't about what you feel. It's about what you don't feel. Stress, anxiety, pain, restlessness at night when you wake up the next day and you realize, damn, I didn't sleep very well. When I've been using CBD, I sleep a little harder. I chill the frig out, put a couple drops in my iced tea, and my latent anxiety seems to melt away. Well, my favorite CBD is Feels. Feels is a premium CBD that will help keep your head clear and feel your best. It's hassle-free and delivered directly to your door. CBD naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, pain, sleeplessness. There's no hangover or addiction because sometimes you want to chill a little bit, but you ain't trying to feel like crap the next day. All you do is you place a few drops of Feels under your tongue and then you feel the difference within minutes. The thing to remember about CBD though is that finding your right dose is important. It's like any other thing. So Feels has a free CBD hotline Oh my God, amazing. Very saved by the bell. You know the episode. To help guide your personal experience so that you find your perfect dose. The Feels customer service team is dedicated to making sure you get the best use of your CBD. They want you to like their stuff, so they're going to make sure you get the right dose for you. Joining the Feels monthly membership makes your self-care easy, so you're going to save money on every order, and you can pause or cancel at any time. So start feeling better with Feels. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash TMGW, and you're going to get, get this, 50% off your first order with free shipping. Oh, I feel the discount coming on. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash TMGW become a member and get 50% automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash TMGW. Uh, I'm tired too. And that's because. Yeah. What's up? I was going to work out. Uh, do my like do a 730 training this morning mm-hmm. with the with Jacqueline and Dave who go with us. And I got up and I had the anxiety of oversleeping. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you're like, oh. This is probably the last one I'm going to go to before I go to North Mm. Carolina. I really want to. So I woke up every 10 minutes from like 5 a.m. Or like, yeah, probably more like 4.30 on to wake up at 6.45. Woke up at 6.45, got fully dressed, brushed my teeth, did all the things. Ordered my Starbucks for pickup on the app as I do. Mm -hmm. We love the Starbucks (laughs) and Silver Lake. They all know my name. They put stickers on my drink. Um, But I'm walking out the door and I get a text that's like are we still working out even though it's raining oh right yeah (gasps) I didn't I mean you don't check the weather in in California or in Los Angeles so I could have slept in yeah I could have chilled (laughs) so you got all ready without realizing that it was raining outside already (laughs) like snuck around don't wake daddy trying to keep chip from waking up yeah and then I mean I I set out my clothes the night before (laughs) I have a whole routine to make it easier for me in the morning. But so that was annoying. And I was like, fuck, now I'm awake. Yeah. And I've barely had any sleep. So then I had an appointment at my car dealership to get um, like my oil change. Yeah. And things just looked at because I'm going out. I'm driving it across country. Yeah. You want to make sure it's in good shape. Exactly. So I drive the 20 minutes uh-huh. to the dealership uh-huh. to get it done. And I had an 11 a.m. appointment and I get there and he's like, Okay, so it'll be a, probably about three hours. And okay. I go, for an oil change? <laughs> yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> Jiffy Lube is known for the 15-minute oil change. Right, right, right. I fully expected it to be just half an hour, you know? Yeah. Sit, grab a coffee, chill out. So, um, oh, which, by the way, just to follow up. Yeah. I never went and picked up my Starbucks after that. <laughs> That more, I just ordered it. Just it. I'm sorry for the waste, you guys. I love you, Silver Lake. They're like Mamrie's now pranking. We're getting ghosted by Mamrie, who we uh, have figured out her name and are writing it correctly. I for mean, her. no, sorry, Colette. She always wears a beret. She's adorable. Cute. Um, but anyway, I'm like, 
three hours and he goes yeah it's not that it like takes that long it's just that like we have a lot more cars in front of you and i went what do appointments mean (laughs) like this is just full like rant mode i was like i said what do appointments mean to you christian (laughs) Wait, his name is Christian. His name is not, Christian. That's not his religious. No, I didn't, I didn't assume and just <laughs> shout out his religion. You just turned into a Karen immediately. What does this mean to you, you Christian he man? He must be Christian, I no, guess. No, his name was Christian. He had like gel back hair and he had like a diamond nose ring that kept poking out of his mask. Wow. Um, <laughs> so like Christian uh, had some swags. Uh huh. But so I was like, why make an appointment? Yeah. If it's completely disregarded. Well, what if it's uh, because people like your Starbucks order don't show up? If they don't show up, you mean like employees? Or like the cars that have made appointments already before. If they weren't there, it would have been even faster. Oh, I'm yeah, just true. saying, get it together, Audi. <laughs> Audi and Pasadena. But anyway, so I was already annoyed at Christian. Okay. I was just like, <laughs> all right. So now I have to like go home. Yeah, you know, but you have to be careful too because they have your car in their possession now. So what well, do you think I'm going to drive off and it's going to explode? What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're going to. I think throw I can track it. Throw something in there that just jangles, doesn't hurt the car the whole time you drive. I <laughs> say shit. I shouldn't have drank that. I shouldn't have cheers with water. Yeah, exactly. Um, but so I leave, and Christian's like. We'll set you up with an, oh, we, we like free of charge. We'll get you an Uber home. Okay. Like, like, you know, for people who, I was like, I don't want to fucking make my like yeah. boyfriend come get me, go back. And then it's time, like whatever. Yeah. So anyway, I was like, oh, perfect. Fantastic. So he calls an Uber and he's like, you'll get a push notification that links you to your Uber. Okay. And I look and it's going to be 25 minutes before the Uber even gets there. Yeah. Because there's the woman that drove me from the airport yesterday was saying that there's so few uber drivers that are Mm. back in working so she was telling me she went a whole big speech to me about how probably didn't ask for well i was like thank you so (laughs) much for letting me know but she was like if you get an uber driver it's going to take a while take that ride don't think you're going to get one that shows up quicker yeah Yeah. seriously but so anyway they call me an uber and it says 25 minutes so i'm like this is already (laughs) like that's how long i thought i'd be there yeah exactly so i wait for 20 minutes uh-huh. a little more i and it, and the, oh no 25 minutes passes i get like your uber is pulling up mm-hmm. i open the app christian had called it wrong and sent it to my house <gasps> to pick me up at oh. audi see this is what i mean they're fucking with you. so i went no and i went i was like christian we gotta talk man christian finger wave uh yeah uh probably catholic (laughs) christian um and so then i had to wait another 20 minutes dang it was just a goddamn morning it's a more i mean rain in la i think throws everybody off rain in la is our mercury in retrograde true i mean i woke up this morning and my ring app had said like flash flood warning in my neighborhood and i was like this can't be and then you looked out your window and i was just flashing you And I'm like, and I'm flooded down there, too. (laughs) I just got my oil changed. (laughs) Flash Flood is going to, like, be the name of the strip club I open. That's a great name. Oh, So so they currently are working on your car. Yeah, so I'm going to pick it up after this. And then, but, but again. Yeah. And then I, and then I have to go pick up beans. I was going to pick her up this morning. Mm. I am counting down the seconds to see that biscuit. (laughs) It's been 24 hours. I know. I walked in here and... I didn't feel the burning eyes <laughs> of a tiny creature that loathes me to my core. She does not loathe you. She loathes She just Steve. loathes anyone that's not you uh, intruding for a moment. She, and then she tolerates it. She's obsessed with Chip right now. Is she? Because you know how oh. she sleeps right beside me. Yeah. And then she'll get up in the night because she gets overheated and she comes out like emerging. Yeah. Uh, and she would just go and kind of like shake get down get some water whatever yeah she started getting up in the middle of the night and walking over and curling up beside him on top oh. of the covers oh. it's a lot Chip is rolling his eyes as he listens so cute okay two things yep um one i had an overheard yesterday but it was something that i said out loud that i was like <laughs> what the fuck is your life that you dissociated and heard yourself saying i was saying to a friend and I said it just as, as casual as could be. Mm-hmm. I said, I recently bought an Ariana Grande wig for my dog. And I got to say, I'm not happy about the quality. <laughs> <laughs> an actual, 
thing I said. I feel yeah, that I feel like should be tweeted out by overheard in LA. Right? And so and it is true. Like it looks a little it looks kind of the same, but there was like hot glue, little strands. Mm, it's okay. fine. I love to support uh, an Etsy. Yep. But so then I was like, I wonder if other people have complained about Oh, what the are the wigs reviews? Yeah. On this Etsy store. Uh oh. So uh the first one I pulled up oh, turns yeah. out no. Everyone loves them. Oh, okay. They, I mean, like, has five stars overall. Okay. But the, but the first, the first one, what I see, this is the photo. <laughs> that's the wig? That's the that's same not, one you that's got? That's not the same one, but all the that's reviews like, are various wigs. That's like Mo from Larry, Mo and Curly or something. That looks like a Friar Tuck wig. What is, the, what is that wig supposed to be? <laughs> yeah. The review says five stars from Susan. She says, I love it. <laughs> We are going to a Beatles event this September. <laughs> <laughs> of course, my hairless <laughs> dog needs a Beatles wig. It's so cute. Absolutely hysterical. She doesn't mind wearing it at all. I'm looking forward to making a scene. <laughs> it's just a hairless dog <laughs> in a Beatles wig. It's so stupid. <laughs> she loves wearing it. Oh. She doesn't mind it. I look forward to making a scene. I was like, okay, that's my new motto in life. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't wait to make a scene. Like, can you imagine being at the uh, Beatles concert and looking over and just seeing, one, <laughs> that there's a dog there, and two, the dog is dressed like Ringo Starr. That's insane. That's insane. <laughs> Susan, be my best friend. Susan. You and I are thinking alike, I honey. Know. Now I want to Google search where these concerts are just so I can go and try and spot this dog. I'm going to reverse engineer and find out where Susan is. Oh, wow. That's so good. Speaking of reverse, reverse and Etsy. Uh-oh. I got backed in too. Wait, what? Your car. My okay. car. Okay. <laughs> It's like <laughs> someone bumped into me at the grocery yeah. store. Yeah, someone went beep beep, backing up. So on, uh, when was it? Saturday? I'm not sure. Your I'm car is going through it. Going through it. Yeah. Um. So I went to go get coffee at the place that I ordered from this morning and ditched them. Okay. And as I'm pulling out of the parking lot, there's one person in front of me pulling out. And she clearly, you know when you're about to pull out, like you're trying to see around someone. Yeah. And then you're like. I'm fucking in the road. I yeah. shouldn't be this far out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she got that vibe. And so she hit reverse and she's just coming right <gasps> towards. It doesn't look at all. Ugh. I'm laying on the horn and Ugh. it just goes crunch. Oh, no. And I was like, motherfuck my life. Ugh. Right. I hate that because you're like, I don't want to have to deal with you this say, right I now. I didn't do anything. I didn't do this. <laughs> I totally lied. Like, this was Saturday and we're leaving on Thursday, but I immediately went into say the truth but make it more dramatic. And I go, <laughs> I'm driving across country tomorrow. <laughs> I am not. I wasn't. Like, I heard it come out of my mouth. It was like, that's a lie. But also, I know you are eventually <laughs> driving cross country, but that whole statement sounds like you just made it up. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it? I'd be like, show me your itinerary. Really, ma'am? So anyway, we get out. I'm, I'm taking like all the photos and everything. Yeah. And she's very apologetic and like clearly in a rush to get somewhere and whatever. Oh. And so then I'm taking pictures of like her, the back of her car. Yeah. Where she um, backed into me. And that's fucked up. Uh -huh. And she's like, oh, that was already there. And so I'm like, Oh, so you're just a, you just back into shit a lot. Oh, I didn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can infer. I can infer. So Ugh. anyway, long story short, Chip was able to like pop the bumper back in. So all it is that needs to get fixed is scratches. Okay. But she gave me, I took a picture of like her info on yeah. her phone and I was like, what is this email address? I'm going to look up what this website is. You know, it was okay. like her name at, and then something yeah. I didn't know. Some business or something. And I looked it up and I was like, she, she, Makes uh, the wigs. <laughs> no, <laughs> she makes stamps on Etsy. Oh, okay. It was it linked to an Etsy store, oh. like a dot com link to an Etsy store where she makes personalized stamps. Gotcha. And she was like, I'm into stamps and book binding and blah 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 and living life to the fullest or something. <laughs> and I was like, What an interesting sounds like uh, a dating profile. I know. I was like, I'm good on this. Yeah. But like, what an interesting way for someone to become obsessed with another person. What do you mean? Like, like it felt like if I was a f if I was a weirdo, yeah, and wanted this <laughs> this felt like, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's stop that. We'll stop. Yeah, don't, uh, let's just uh, take in the visual surroundings yeah. right now. Uh, don't <laughs> go there. Yeah. If I was a weird as a completely normal person, 
if I was a weirdo, as you have your owl phone uh, and a cake that uh, you made uh, <laughs> behind you. But if I, I was just like, oh, this seems like the perfect like beginning of a horror movie where someone's single mm, white female someone. Yeah. 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 You yeah. Know, where you're like, oh, who's that? I'm going to have them accidentally run into me so I get all their I mean I have pictures of her license I have pictures of her insurance I have pictures of everything that is so interesting which means I have her home address like that seems like the inciting incident and like a whoa yeah what's like a you or a swim fan for all you people over 30 (laughs) I haven't seen either of those oh okay (laughs) but yeah you put that in your back pocket for a script if I ever need to uh, I literally laughed as I took a picture of her license and said I'm not going to steal your identity (laughs) That's what I said. That's what a non weirdo says. That's what a non weirdo says. I'm driving cross country tomorrow. I won't steal your identity. <laughs> Why are You're you not leaving? You're going to have charges in Oklahoma what? next week for no reason. Now I'm worried this woman is leaving town so quickly for some mysterious reason. Hey, you know? But then I was like, should I buy some stamps from her? Anyway, I'm also, overthinking it. You would think someone, I mean, no shade because I'm a terrible driver too. That, yeah. like, if you have. You know, if you're working on stamps, you have to have good eyesight for that, I imagine. Mm -hmm. But maybe she was just thinking about books and stamps and got distracted. I guess so. Mm -hmm. I got backed into years ago. I remember just pulling out of my driveway by like a a tow truck that was already on the street that like was backing down the street. Definitely this guy's fault. Like I was going so slow and he was just not looking at all. But I was so (laughs) over. I was like, it's fine. He was like, really? I was like, yeah, I have to leave now. I don't want to do the whole thing. It's totally fine. He's like, okay, cool. (laughs) Oh, see, I, okay. The only other time, the only time I've been in an accident, I mean, that was like she backed into me. The only time I've like ever fucked up another car yeah uh, was we talked about it on the podcast it was like a year ago where i backed out of my driveway mm. but i was driving um chips uh truck that had a like a trailer hitch on it yeah, yeah so yeah. i didn't account for those inches yeah and i backed into this like 90s little honda that's my across the street neighbor yeah, yeah, yeah. And i didn't know and i had to leave a note and whatever and he got it looked at and so we did it outside of insurance but because it's like a specialty honda like you know oh, you wouldn't yeah. know unless yeah. you like are into cars that mm-hmm. like that's a sought out thing a sought after thing yeah so i had a, <laughs> so i gave him like honda. a thousand bucks cash yeah he still hasn't gotten it fixed wow see p- people do whatever they want <laughs> i mean i owed him that money i understand but every <laughs> single day i go hmm. so leave another note Hmm. Yeah, I see you haven't gotten this fixed. Oh, my God. Okay, so we've all gotten away with not shaving our legs for the last year, right? But it is summertime. Shorts need to be worn. Trust me, I've tried to wear sweatpants as much as I can outside in Southern California in the summer. It doesn't really work out for me. So I'm wearing shorts, and I want clean, shaven legs. And... There's no better razor out there for clean shaven legs than Athena Club razor. Shaving used to be something I dreaded, obviously. I hate doing it, but Athena's Club products make it more fun and easier to shave. Not only is it the prettiest razor I've ever seen, mine is rose gold, but it's also super gentle on my skin. It leaves it moisturized, super smooth, bump free. So Athena Club's razor is designed with built-in skin guards to help prevent razor burn, something I'm really cool at doing to myself while being gentle on curves. It's no wonder that the razor has thousands of five-star reviews. The razor blade is surrounded by a water-activated serum with shea butter and hyaluronic acid, so it's which I've heard is the holy grail for skincare. So it's all good stuff on your skin. And the best part is the razor kit is only $9 and comes with two blade heads, a magnetic hook for your shower storage, which I've used and love very, very much. And your choice of handle color. The razor has cute handle color options. They also have black and white razors for all of you minimalists out there. But like I said, I have a really cute rose gold one and it makes me feel really just like I got my stuff together. Even if I don't, I can pretend I do. Plus, you never have to worry about running out of refills or being stuck with dull, overused razors. You can choose how often your replacement blades get shipped to you for free. That means fresh, ready to use razors that will always arrive right when you need them. And Athena Club also has the dreamiest shave foam that will leave your skin soft, hydrated, and smooth. I cannot attest to this more. 
their uh, moisturizer and their shave foam and their body wash is incredible. They have a whole line of products if you're interested. I can't say enough good things about this entire company. So if you are interested, show your skin that you care with the Athena Club Razor Kit. Sign up today and you will get 20% off your first order. Just go to athenaclub.com and use the promo code WEIRD. That's Athena, A-T-H-E-N-A-C-L-U-B.com. Promo code WEIRD for 20% off. If you know one thing about me, well, I hope it's that I'm very nice and attractive. But if you know two things about me or have been following me for a minute, you know that I freaking love Audible. I love Audible. It is such a wonderful company that I adore. And you know why? Because I'm not great at reading books, y'all. I am not the best. I get bored easily. I fall asleep in two seconds. But I want to know these books, and I and I hear about all these books, and sometimes I need a little help, and Audible has been incredible. You guys know I do my Bad at Reading book club, my bar flies. Well, what you don't know is that I make sure, before I recommend a book to y'all, that there's also an Audible version for those people who either prefer to listen to an audiobook or just need a little help. Like, for example, for me, for my own listening uh, and reading foray, I read the book, but I also listen to the chapters when I'm in the car. Like, for instance, the last Barflies book was uh, Midnight Library, and it was so fantastic. And it was narrated by Carrie Friggin Mulligan. I mean, like a top tier A list voice. And it was so fantastic. I-, I just love audiobooks so much, and I'm so glad they have a resurgence. And if you want to give Audible a try, well, then, lucky for you, we have formed a partnership with them. And for the next book club, we are reading Interior Chinatown by Charles Yu. And of course, there is a version on Audible. So get up in here, you know, listen to it in your car, in traffic. Let's be honest. Music gets boring. I'm sorry. I'll say it. I'll freaking say it. Music gets boring. Listen to a book. Expand the mind and go to audible.com slash TMGW or text TMGW to 500 hyphen 500 to sign up with Audible today. You get a credit every month, which is actually a lot more than we, we actually get read on the book club. But you can listen to one, read one, listen to one, read one. So audible.com slash TMGW or text TMGW to 500 hyphen 500 to sign up with Audible today. I saw um, a license plate on my way oh, yeah. back from the airport. Uh, that in all caps, and it still confuses me, just said G O D E N U F. Hold on, let me write this out <laughs> so I can <laughs> write see. Write it out, because at first I G-O-D- thought it was G O D U N E or E N U F. And at first I thought it said good enough. And yeah. I was like, interesting. No, it says God enough. <laughs> and God now, enough. And now I don't know. I'm so curious what that is means because there was a space between god and enough so it's like it's a you know someone did this on purpose someone is god enough or god enough like they're sick (laughs) sick of everything whoa or they thought they were getting good enough and they came back with god God enough enough? that totally is what happened (laughs) i was so confused i like double take i was like what is this you know what kind of car it was like would this be someone with a god complex or someone who was like this tercel is good enough (laughs) yeah it was uh i don't i have truly no recollection of what kind of car it was but i was just so thrown off i was like that is so specific to spell enough with an f like mm-hmm. that and <laughs> to be god enough i love it wonderful I love it um oh what was i gonna t- oh shoot hold on yeah i gotta pull up my notes oh okay i went roller skating on friday mm. very fun it's a nice little workout however their ac does not work in the roller skating in rink? In the roller skating rink. Oh, that feels like a problem. I had been there before, like, years ago. Yeah. But it's been hot as fuck both times I've been back, like, yeah. in the last month. And so I'm wondering if it, like, broke during the pandemic. And they're uh, like, we got to make some money before we fix the AC. I mean, sure. like, full sauna, yeah. Bikram. <laughs> like, yeah. I had See, that would a river a panic under my attack. Yeah. immediately. No, well, what would have been a panic attack? <laughs> as I get there, I've been there, like, five minutes. I was uh-huh. meeting our friend Katie. Uh, and before I even get out there while I'm putting on the skates. They're like, if everyone could go to the side of the rink and stop skating, blah, blah. So Uh everyone's, you know, like at the side. I'm like, oh no, are they going to do some weird like 
game for the next 30 minutes. There's only oh. an hour left okay. at the rink. And they go, and if the birthday girl could come to the middle of the rink. Yeah. And, and so like this little, you know, probably like 11 year old kind of like pudgy, like cute girl, like yeah. not aware of like what she looks like yet. Yeah. Like perfectly innocent. Comes to the middle of the rink with her roller skates that light up. Cute. So cute, right? And then he's like, all right now. And I'm like, oh, we'll sing her happy birthday. And it'll probably be like one of those like happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. to, like fun ones. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, OK. They start playing a song and they go, now show us your best dance moves. To who? To the little girl? To the little girl. <gasps> oh. Like this was like her moment. Yeah. And I, I feel like she jumped into it fast enough to where she had been warned by her parents. OK. Like, she do was you prepared. Do-? Yeah. So then she just immediately does. Uh-huh. The disco finger. Love it. Okay. <laughs> so she, and, and she's not like committing. Yeah. It's like just, she's discoing just Enough. a little. She does that. She goes, disco, 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 falls. <laughs> <laughs> she just falls. Oh, no. On her face. Oh, I, no. I mean, I was just like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right? She slowly, which it's hard to stand back up on skates when you don't have a wall to hold on to. Yeah. She slowly gets herself back up and continues to disco finger. <laughs> And I was like, uh, her older brother right now is probably uh, recording on his phone being like, this is blackmail for the rest of your that's life. That's a memory that now has planted a seed of trauma in that little girl's brain for the rest of her life. And I was like, okay, disco finger, we get it. That's the choice. Oh, God. <laughs> you got to be careful. That disco finger will throw you off your equilibrium if you're not careful. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. And oh, I no. felt so bad. Oh, I was glad no. she got back up. But then I was uh, like, but then I started thinking about it. And I was like, okay, when we uh, were that age, if someone was like, dance, we'd obviously do disco finger, you know? Yeah. It's like the the move. Yeah. So we disco finger. But to me, I was like, yeah, but if I was like seven or eight, that was early 90s. So the 70s were just, you know, 15 years earlier. Yeah. Why are we still having the kids do the disco finger? I don't know. <laughs> Especially now that they have TikTok. There's so much dance Flossing. on TikTok. That, that's the one that you go to. Well, that would really throw off your equilibrium. Yeah, that, if you, that's basically an aggressive disco finger. Flossing. Yeah, it's just two arms. It's it's, two. Your arms are two disco fingers. Anyway, I was just like, oh, oh the poor thing. This uh, is the moment that she, oh. that would have been my most embarrassing moment as no, a child. That's the stuff that you wake up in the middle of the night in your 30s and you remember occasionally and you're like, God, oh, that still sits remember horribly with me. Fell in front of everyone at the oh. roller rink in Los Angeles. God, how awful. But so many people had their own skates. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, that is kind of like one of the things hot into quarantine that people were like, yeah, everyone I'm going to get skates. Yeah. I'm going to get this. And like what those probably what like those items are that had their best year ever during the pandemic. Totally. Like puzzles, uh, roller, roller skates, sourdough bicycles. starters. Yeah. yeah. The uh, I'm also surprised that skating rinks are still like operational. Well, there's very few. Yeah. yeah like yeah. the one in my town where I grew up is now a Dollar General. Yeah. I don't think the one. Yeah. The one that we grew up going to isn't there anymore. No. But, but this is like the one iconic one in L.A. Right. 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 Oh, that's so sad for her. Hopefully she, 12 will be a better year yeah. for her. Don't this, worry. This one was for you, kid. This one was for you. Um. Uh, have you seen Britney Spears is really going for it she's, on her gram? She's 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 holding her titties. She's holding her titties. She just posted another one a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago? Yeah. This is her third titty, right? Third titties one. Uh, wow. The one before she put the sparkles on her actual tits. The nips. I the saw nips. the nips had some sparkle emojis. Yeah. And I had opened up my Instagram for half a second before I got my car to head over here. And I was like, whoa, I thought it was one from the other day. But yeah. it's new. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes. Is, um, what was the, is there a caption on it? I hadn't, the caption I I is it. just, it's just star, like the little like twinkly star emojis. Mm, mm-hmm. And the previous one where she's topless holding titties, it's the plant. It's a potted plant emoji. Great. Why not? So um, maybe, I mean, she's Get thriving. It, she's growing. Yeah. I love it. However, I do want to be like, I'm glad she has, well, I'm assuming control of, of her stuff. Yeah. And we love to see it. And like, you're a grown ass woman and you do what you want. But yep. I do want to be like, she also is like, probably going through working out a lot of traumatic stuff that yeah. she'll need a, like you know 
to talk to someone about. So yeah, don't let it, don't don't have her go too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? I mean, more power to her. I was just like, whoa, she's got her freedom. Like there she yeah. really goes. I just love, I just <laughs> love the fucking comments. They always make me laugh. I'm yeah. like, free the nipney. <laughs> Yeah, that's the internet. The internet doesn't miss an opportunity. Oh, they're wow. so good at it. The internet is so good at internetting. It really is. It out internets itself occasionally. Well, there's also, you know, everyone's freaking out about the reenactment. I the benefit butt. You talked about this on an episode, I think, a little while ago about how that was like one of the sexiest things. In I'd that. ever seen. Uh, yeah, exactly. I was like, you manifested this <gasps> recreation, I feel like. Because you also, everyone's been tweeting at us about the Cardi B show. Uh, we Cardi figured does. That out. Oh, do you know what else happened last week after we talked about it? No, what? MTV Cribs is back. Is back? They announced it the day after we talked about it. We're, we got some shit going on. We're maybe more powerful than we know, so let's be very thoughtful about yes. what we're saying. Oh Where my is the capybara only zoo that i Truly. like to go to oh my god um okay one more thing i'll say i talked about this in my instagram story i don't know if you saw it no i haven't really been on the internet very much good for you yeah that's why i was like i saw britney's photo okay that's enough internet for the day i'm good i'm good <laughs> i was walking beans a couple days ago yeah and this woman came up to talk to beans and be like oh my god is it a puppy like what you know yeah, yeah. She's, she can look very young from a distance the usual her and i both um so she comes up <laughs> And she's just holding and eating a hard boiled egg. Like walking down the street. Um, <laughs> and so she's eating it and she gets. Wait, I did see this on your screen. Yeah, and yeah. She, her like lips were covered in yolk. <laughs> and I was like, surely she's going to like lower the egg while she talks to us. She kept it at her face like she was like making a wish on it. <laughs> just took another bite of the egg. You were like, are you talking to me or that egg? What's I, going yeah, on? Yeah, exactly. Is that got a mic in it? <laughs> So anyway, she's eating the egg and oh. it's just like yolk is everywhere. And I'm like, and I say on, on my story, I was yeah. like, which is torture for beans because beans fucking loves boiled <laughs> eggs. <laughs> she goes wild for boiled egg yolk. Yeah. So anyway, she's just, just, she's just licking her lips, her. licking her lips, getting that smell. <laughs> but I was like, wow. Okay. And then I was like, it was really gross. Yeah. But I was like, what would be like the grossest thing if someone came up and didn't stop eating? You know what I mean? Like, oh, whoo, gosh. Because I don't mean like what makes she a fart, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's not like a cup of chili. Like, what would be uh, truly like. Trying to. Could I mean, you stop eating that, stranger? It's disgusting. A hard boiled egg is tough. It's a tough one. Because it is just, it's messy no matter how, even if you got a plate, it's yeah. still a tough situation when to you, eat. Wait, when you have a boiled egg. Yeah. And I swear we're not going to talk about eggs that much. We, we know we've done an entire <laughs> podcast on eggs. What do I, how do I eat it? Well, because I know you will buy the bags of hard boiled eggs, yeah. which I'm not going to judge you I'll, for. I'll anymore. cut it. I haven't Half. done it recently. I'll cut it and I'll throw salt and pepper on it and then I eat them. Yeah. Okay. So you but cut I have it the dignity to eat them by myself in my own home in silence. <laughs> hard boiled eggs are a solo treat. <laughs> really are. Because they are. And then are, a solo toot. They're a bit, I don't know what it is. Maybe we've said this before. Something about hard boiled eggs <laughs> screams sadness. To me. Yes. <laughs> so if I'm eating them by myself, it's usually a moment where I'm recognizing like, if anyone were peering in on this moment, it yeah. would look very depressing. Yeah, if you're just sitting there eating boiled eggs. However, you scoop up that yolk, you mix it with some stuff, you yep. pipe it back in. Now that egg is a deviled egg and is like a bad boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, that. <laughs> well, that said, we're ready to reclaim our reputation. Uh-huh. I don't know what would be so tough to watch someone eat. I mean, it just depends on how people eat, especially if they're going to continue talking and eating that's with you what at the I'm same screaming. time. Yeah, that's a tough situation. That also takes a certain level of like confidence or unawareness. Yes. That I guess I admire just the brazen. I don't care how this woman thinks about me. right now. You know what I and it might be a little PTSD from working at a place for so long in college. Yeah. You know, it's really gross to watch people eat. Hmm chicken wings yeah yeah it's a real tough thing that is to sit with someone eating wings if you're not also eating wings yeah look i love wings but also eating them in a group of people makes me very self-conscious you're just like <laughs> going you're like performing weird oral sex on these tiny bones and then every you're constantly a Constant. mess 
you're con- it's like you're reverting to your childhood self of just being like I have to wipe my hand and then your napkins are dirty and then and you then- have like a pile of yeah. like weird then you're just sitting in your own clear filth. napkins <laughs> yeah. yeah I think hot wings we've talked to we've talked before about eating something spicy and then accidentally touching your cooter oh but, but I bet wings is a big one where if I was on a date and someone was like I'll take the atomic fucking wings I'd be like you're soaking your hands in milk before we fall <laughs> yeah, around yeah like that's dangerous. I'm giving you a paraffin wax before we do anything. <laughs> Have you ever done a paraffin wax? Um, I think when I was younger, I feel like we went like bought one of those at home spa kit things and did it like once, and then it was so annoying to clean that I was like, I'm never doing this again. I've never done it, and I've always been obsessed. You dip your hand in wax all the time. I know I do, but that's just the <laughs> fingertip. That's just yeah. the t- that's just the tip. I want to do the full like full submerging. I got a hand. glove. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you're an adult now. You can do whatever you want. Should that as be a, my OnlyFans? As a non weird adult, yeah. That's. <laughs> As a non-weird adult, I'm starring a paraffin wax dipping different body parts only fans. I mean, Ugh. that might be a hit. No, we're not going to do that. We're we're actually just going to go on tour. We're going to go on tour. Yes. We have reached the end of the podcast here. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got to organize my goddamn house. It's a crazy. crazy. I know. <laughs> Uh, there's no symbolism there of anything. I gotta pick up my car that took nine hours to be able to have to fill it with bags Let's to drop see it what off. What they've actually done to it, <sighs> and then uh, off you go. Yeah, guys, get your tickets to tour. Also, don't forget we got a Patreon. Yeah, patreon.com slash this might get weird which is super fun and uh if you are a perv one yeah. of the pervs on that tier just know that you've got a really fun gift box coming mm-hmm. your way soon it's our favorite yet hell yeah and um get some t-shirts if you guys want them yeah um you know what's oh yeah oh in case you don't know by the way for the t-shirts that's yep. uh dftba don't yeah. forget to be awesome that mm-hmm. is on their site you can find our store yep yep and you know what's strange hmm i really want a boiled egg right now <laughs> This got weird.